all glued up. Now I'll just scrape a little bit of squeeze out off the surface. And then slice the end and see if the pattern looks good. I just realized if I cut a straight 90 degree line in this, I can use this fixture as kind of a, a miter box. And there's my pattern, just what I was hoping for. Well, this step is complete. I know at least in cross-section I'll get some nice symmetrical squares. Um, however, I, I have to make some modifications to this log before I can start using it. The, the little pieces are going to go around in a circle, and because of the fact that they're arranged in a circle, the the lower or inside edge is going to be a little bit different width than the outside edge. Um, I just mapped it out with a, a compass and a protractor, and there is about an 8 degree difference, or the, an 8 degree angle, on these pieces. So what I need to do is taper... The, the tiles so that they're narrower on the inside edge than the outside edge. Um, so I made this little fixture. It's a, just a couple of pieces of plywood, clearly, but where I joined or glued this piece onto this, I cut a four degree angle on here. So I'm sure it won't show up on this video, but there is a four degree angle, an inward angle. So I'm going to put sandpaper across this and sand this, this log back and forth and achieve a, a four degree angle and then I'll turn it around maintaining the same face on the inside, or what will be the inside, and I'll sand this one too. So the tiles at the inner end will actually be a little bit narrower than the ones at the outer end, but the alternative to that is to just keep this square all the way around, and then what I would have would be pretty noticeable gaps between the, the squares. Um, because, again, they'd, they'd be touching at the outer edge of the ring, but there would be big gaps at the inner edge, so this will reduce that a little bit. There will still be some gaps if you look closely enough, but they won't be too horrible. So that's... 120 grit paper, and so yeah, this is the side I want up. I'll go back and forth. I made pencil marks also, and I can see where I've already sanded off the pencil marks at the last couple of millimeters. Keep going. There, that's looking pretty good. Do this side a little bit more. So there it is with a 
a barely perceptible change in width from the outer edge of the of the sound hole ring to what will be the inner edge. Now I'm ready to slice this up and, and uh, start assembling the rosette. So now I'm going to cut this up into multiple pieces, about two millimeters a piece, and then I can arrange them and see if I need to make another log or if this will be enough for me to complete the rosette. Well, this portion of the rosette. This will take a while. So here's just a rough idea of how it looks when the tiles are all arranged. Now actually the, uh, the center section of the rosette is going to be a little different so I have cut more tiles than I'll need and I still have about a third of the log left which is nice. I'm glad I didn't have to make any more like this but I am going to have to be assembling sticks to do the pattern that my customer wants in the middle and it's too difficult to explain so I will just show it when it's all done.